Well, it's Sunday morning and I just toted three of my tool bags down here with a lot more tools because I wanted to really get back to this thing. I've only got about an hour this morning, but I really wanted to get back to this thing because I've done more research and I've done a lot of thinking about what's going on with this thing not starting. And I really wanted to try a couple of things today. But first thing I'm going to do is take a break and take some, uh, put some insect repellent on. Okay, that's better. It's uh, about 9.30 on Sunday morning, but it's completely overcast and down here in the woods it's it's uh, kind of like the way it would be at dusk after a rain so the mosquitoes are uh, probably gonna be teeming out here real soon so anyways what I found out I was able to find a uh, few bits of information I wanted to uh, pass on to people who are watching these videos and wondering how I'm gonna get this thing started and also, some people have given me some advice, and I want to talk about that also, because I appreciate comments. Um, first, I want to talk about this primer pump. This little hand prime pump right here uh, bolts onto uh, this assembly back here. And because of the way the pipe went in there, I actually thought that what I was looking at behind this primer pump was uh, a mechanical lift pump that runs off the engine block. In other words, I thought there was actually... Uh, a hole in the engine block that a uh, lever went through and actually rode off a camshaft or some shaft and ran that. And what I've discovered is that's just a bracket, and the bracket just holds this small manual hand primer assembly, and that's all it is. Uh, there is no mechanical lift pump. So prior to the electric fuel pump that was added to this later by somebody, prior to that, the means of transfer for the fuel from the tank was gravity. Gravity flow through both filters down to this point and up to here and into the back of the injection pump. And then in, right here in the back of the injection pump is the transfer pump uh, part of the pump. And the transfer pump is what basically helps bring that fuel in to the injector part up in the... Uh, uh, let's see, kind of got my nomenclature screwed up here. I don't remember exactly how it flows through, but what you've got basically is you've got a transfer pump in here in one section that transfers the fuel to the actual little plungers that actually compress it and send it out through the uh, various injectors. And there's a distributor uh, or almost like a rotor that as it turns around decides which one of these it, it's going to fire that compressed fuel to the injectors. So... Uh, to sum up, basically, there's no pump between here and the tank unless you do like somebody did and they added a 12-volt electric pump on the other side. The hand primer pump, its purpose, the hand primer pump is basically just here if you lose prime. For instance, if you run it out of fuel or um, if you're changing your filters. So this pump, even though it's to the left of the secondary filter, is actually on the input side of that filter. So the, the pipe comes in from the other side, from the primary filter, goes into the hand primer, goes out that little tube on the back of the hand primer down there, loops around, goes into the bottom of this uh, filter assembly, goes through the filter, comes out here and goes to the pump. So what you do is you're supposed to um, take this hand primer retainer here off, and you open this bleeder on top and you're supposed to pump this hand primer until fuel starts to come out of that bleeder screw okay you'll notice nothing's coming out and I also noticed when I would operate this hand primer that it didn't feel like it was ever building any pressure but on the other hand is there actually no fuel flowing through here? Well, I don't believe that's true because as you recall, I cracked this fitting open and I cranked the engine and it worked fine. And also when I put the electric pump on, it pumps fuel out through this breather. So what I think is going on here is I think the hand primer is not working at all, but I don't think it's actually blocking fuel flow. But I'm going to confirm that because I want to make sure that there isn't something screwy going on here. I know I'm getting fuel here, but I'm wondering how much. So you see even a little bit of fuel is coming out right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this line and put it into a container and then activate the, the um, 
uh, electric pump and see just how much fuel flow I'm getting. If I'm getting plenty of fuel flow up to this point, then I can stop worrying about it being something with this hand primer deal or a blockage or something like that. And I can go after this area here because I still believe it's a fuel issue. Um, a couple of people I think have told me they're concerned that the engine just has such a low compression and that's why it won't fire off. And some of them hadn't seen my earlier videos, so um, I could understand why you would think that. I mean, I would suspect low compression just because the age of the engine, and I don't think it's ever been rebuilt that I know of. And uh, it's got a lot of hours on it, and it was when it was running, it was smoking plenty. So, I mean, that could be injection timing or related or uh, could be compression related, uh, you know, oil usage, that kind of thing. Point is... Why I don't think compression is what's stopping it from running right now is because you got to remember that I had this thing running. I shut it down, and then when I went to restart it, it didn't want to run, didn't want to start. Now, if I was running this, like, say, at full throttle, and it suddenly just stopped, um, then I would suspect an internal mechanical failure in the engine that, that, that basically caused that problem, which... You know, like a hole in the piston or something. Um, the other possibility would be like if, uh, if more than one valve suddenly decided to hang up. Um, you know, I haven't had this valve cover off yet. Who knows what's going on under there? And I might have to get to that point, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So I just don't think it's necessarily compression. Um, one of my other theories, if, if this is getting good fuel into here... And I already checked the screen in here, and I know that's good. One of my other theories is that it could actually have something to do with the governor that's internal to this pump right here. Right inside this top box assembly, and this is cover right here you could take off, right inside here is the governor uh, mechanism for the pump. And what happens is there's a whole little mechanism in there that when you move this throttle lever open and closed right here, um, what's going on in there is actually a small metering valve is allowed to open and close. Uh, and the more it's open, the more fuel you get. Well, it, after I saw how this worked, it real, I realized if I had something happen in here where that metering valve is not allowed to open enough, it's going to have the same effect as if I had this throttle all the way down. And if I've got a tired old engine and I've got the throttle all the way down and I'm trying to start it, it would probably act exactly the way it's acting right now, which is I'd get some smoke because some fuel's getting out of there, uh, getting into there and combusting, but not enough fuel to get it initially started. So without further ado, I'm going to uh, pull that line. Okay, got the line off and into my container and I'm just getting barely any fuel. Um... Uh, now, if the pump wasn't in line and it was just gravity flow, I would expect to be getting fuel right now. But because the pump's in line and it's not running, the electric pump I'm talking about, uh, I'm not surprised that I'm not getting any flow. But as soon as I engage that electric pump, I should get plenty of flow. So the other thing I did was I uh, got my key switch. I put some extension wires on the key switch so that now I've got basically a way down here so I can actually stand down here and see what's going on while I'm trying to crank this thing. So I got my battery reconnected. So let's see if I can't set the camera somewhere where it'll catch a look at what's going on here. There we go. Okay, so now you're looking right at that. Hey! looking at it yeah all right so let's turn on the pump and see what happens should be these two wires there's the fuel flow so I don't know that look good expert want to chime in and tell me if that looks like it's uh, sufficient enough sure looks like it to me what do I know? 